What's going on everybody? My name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, there are two players on this current Chicago Bulls team that I think a lot of people want to see leave the Chicago Bulls team. Their names are Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic. However, with that being said, there is equally a decent chance that we may not get what we want as Bulls fans. There is still a good possibility that we could see Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic both wearing Bulls uniforms by the opening day for the Bulls opening of the regular season, opening a training camp, whatever the case may be. So in that hypothetical situation, assuming they are to play for the Chicago Bulls next season, this is a different hypothetical to all the other ones we've made where we, we've kind of ruled them out of certain aspects because we feel like they're going to get traded. But if they do end up showing up on day one of the NBA season, we, want, we should probably talk about whether or not they would fit in and gel with this current team. Now, this team is drastically different from where we last left off it's drastically different in terms of personnel and probably very different in terms of style now ultimately the style side of things we haven't seen much of yet hopefully we will see by obviously the preseason and training camp and everything in between but assuming the style assuming the players and the personnel we do have to ask will they fit into this team now before we get any further if you like the video and you want to see more from me drop a like drop a follow and or subscribe if you are new and let me know in the comments below whether or not you believe either Zach Levine or Nikola Vucevic will be able to fit in this current team now I guess the best thing about these two players is they're pretty good players so ultimately good players will find a way to fit into any team imaginable it's really as simple as that now granted they were part of a big core unit with Levine DeRozan and Vucevic that simply didn't gel together they were a net negative almost the entirety of their time together and you know even though they're good players they didn't find a way to make it work but more times than not you will see good players try to find a way to make a system work and finding their way to gel into a system so that is something that you could see with both Nikola Vucevic and Zach Levine but first we'll talk about Zach Levine because I think this is a pretty easy answer I actually think Zach Levine would work very well for this Bulls team if he was to stay here now am I telling you that the Bulls are going to win a lot more games with this current team and Zach Levine? No. Because ultimately, I think the team around Zach Levine probably wouldn't be good enough to go and win significant amount of games or even compete for anything. You also have to inv involve Zach Levine in that situation. I don't personally think he could be a number one option on this team and win a championship either. It, I just don't think it would happen. But there are certain things that has happened with this team that I think allows Zach Levine to thrive. With the first thing is the pacing. I think the pacing of this team, again, I've been wrong about this before, but the, I think the aim is to play faster. And I think we've got a talented young group that is willing to run with Zach Levine. And I think that's what Zach Levine needs. Zach Levine is a very athletic player and he's also a willing runner when there are players out there that could get him the ball. And ultimately, with the way that we've set up this team with additions to certain people, you have to expect the pace of the game, you know, to be faster. And Zach Levine, I think, will thrive in that. I think Zach Levine has already been a good transition player. But even if it's outside of transition, just the way that we move the ball from our half-court sets, not everything is slow, methodical, wastes almost all of the shot clock. Maybe we could have some rules in place where you can release the ball or you can shoot the ball within a certain amount of time within the shot clock in the half-court set. Most teams do have those types of rules in place. Maybe the Bulls will have a rule like that in place. But ultimately... I do believe the pace of the game will be faster, and I think that works well with Zach Levine. But as I mentioned just in that, I guess, phrase, the players that we've gotten, I think, will also help Zach Levine. And the reason why I say this is that we've added, yet again, another playmaker into this team. Now, Zach Levine is a gifted scorer, but I wouldn't necessarily call him an elite playmaker. And with the amount of time Zach Levine has the ball in his hands, you have to expect him to do both roles just a little bit. Now, I think he can playmake a little bit. He's a very gifted scorer. But when you have willing and able playmakers on your team, Zach Levine should take his game to another level. So the addition of Josh Giddy is where I'm excited, potentially, if Zach Levine was to, say, was to stay and we actually try to go and win some games. Because I think Josh Giddy would elevate Zach Levine's game. 
I, it's as simple as that. I think he's a very good, willing playmaker, Josh Giddy. It's one of his biggest traits. He's a selfless individual, and that's one of his biggest traits as well. So he's going to be able to get everybody else's game to a new level. And I think there is no better person that he can get to a new level than Zach Levine. Zach Levine has a different shot profile than the vast majority of our team. Zach Levine is someone that is dangerous um, you know, heading downhill, dangerous on the drive, but also very dangerous in the catch and shoot. He's been a very, very good catch and shoot player when we actually get him to shoot those types of shots. And obviously, you've got all the other shots that Levine can make. He's very talented, but, you know, some of that is a bit iffy with his shot selection, which hopefully we will see reduced with some better playmaking plays made for him. Should be quite interesting. But it's not even just Josh Giddy. The return of Lonzo Ball could be a big factor. Now, Lonzo Ball is a player that elevated Zach Levine's game tremendously. I don't think anyone can hide it. We were all very excited with the duo of Lonzo Ball and Zach Levine leading our future. And for the vast majority of that season where they played together, it was a dynamic duo. It worked out very well. Both players were shooting over 40% from the three-point line. Zach Levine was having some of his best numbers offensively with the addition of DeMar DeRozan as well. At least efficiency-wise, he was doing really, really well. And... Lonzo Ball handled all the defensive work that Zach Levine sometimes struggles with. So Lonzo Ball, even if he's anywhere close to his best, will elevate Zach Levine. Now Josh Giddy, I think, is a better half-court playmaker, half-court facilitator than a Lonzo Ball. But I think Lonzo Ball is an elite playmaker in transition. So I think both things are going to work for Zach Levine. I think where it doesn't work with Levine is the defensive ends. Because Lonzo Ball, again, returning... May be able to help with that, but Josh Giddy is not a good defender. So if you're going to see the starting lineup of Josh Giddy and Zach Levine, at least the positive is they're both really sizable guys in those positions, but they're not really known for their defensive prowess, and I think that's going to be a sign of disaster on the defensive end. So you might need a couple of workarounds there to make that lineup work. I did the bulk of this on Zach Levine, but Vucevic is actually someone else that we need to talk about, and I think Vucevic works in certain ways and doesn't work in other ways. We talked about pace for Zach Levine. I think pace for Vucevic is actually going to be the downfall um, because, again, he doesn't run. He's not a good runner. Uh, he's slow, and ultimately, even in the slow team, he was always the trailer. He was never the guy sprinting down the middle of the lane, trying to create space or even find his way to an easy bucket. Very rarely did you see that for Nikola Vucevic in this Bulls team. So with the pace getting, I guess, more and more and more present... Vucevic, I think you'll see more and more and more exposed. But even on the defensive end, the perimeter defense, once again, if Josh Giddy and Levine is going to be our starting lineup, uh, in our starting lineup, the point of attack defense, I think, is going to be heavily weakened. Now, that obviously hurts our perimeter defense, sure. But I think if you hurt your perimeter defense, you're also going to hurt your interior defense because that means players are going to be walking right into the paint where Vucevic is not an elite rim protector. And therefore, that's going to hurt him just as much as it hurts the perimeter as well. I think it all comes together on the defensive end and that's going to be a big blow. But other than that, offensively, in the half-court set, it should work. The key with Vucevic is he has to make his threes because we don't want a situation where Vucevic is out in the three-point line and the centers, with a chance to try and guard that, decide not to and he bricks the shot every time. He had one of his worst three-point shooting seasons last season and it's getting to the point now where you lose faith in him shooting that shot. So it's either you don't shoot that shot We've tried that for three years, or people wanted to see that for three years, and he always shot the shot. So at the end of the day, that's just not going to happen. He's going to be able to shoot threes. He will shoot threes, but he has to start making them. And if he can make them, teams will respect that, and that creates a whole different avenue for Vucevic's playmaking, and Vucevic's, even, if he, even his drive game or his post game, all of that gets elevated if he can make that three-point shot consistently. But until he can... I say Vucevic is more on the not work type of situation compared to will work type of situation. He is very good offensively in terms of being selfless and passing, and that's all fine and good. But if he can't knock down the shot, it's going to be hard for our offense to really get going. So we'll wait and see. And for Zach Levine, I think it will work. 
ultimately. Defensively, again, I don't think it will work, but offensively, I think it will work. Do you guys agree? Thank you for watching. Drop a like and a follow, and or subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care, and peace.